वेलकम टू सेंटर फॉर ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन उत्तर प्रदेश ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रेंड्स एक्सप्लोरिंग द डायमेंशन ऑफ रिसर्च मेथोलॉजी टूडे वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग द वेरी स्टैटिस्टिकल टूल्स विच आर बींग यूज फॉर रिसर्च मेथोलॉजी देर आर वेरियस स्टैटिस्टिकल टूल्स बिकॉज वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू डू एनी रिसर्च द फंडामेंटल ऑफ द रिसर्च इज दैट द हाइपोथिस विच वी हैव टेकन इज टू बी प्रूवन and by the help of statistical tools we are going to prove our hypothesis the two most common and highly sta used statistical tools are regression and correlation these tools are highly used in research methodology because they are highly applicable in all the type of research whether it is descriptive analytical scientific or explorative now let's explore what is regression regression is a study of measuring the relationship between association variables where one variable is dependent on another independent variable called as regression regression means to regress to step back means here by the help of the past data we are going to predict the future here you are going to see that it is being associated between the different variables the association between different variables and the past and the future present is all being associated here there are two variables which is being taken into consideration the dependent and the independent variables both are being here here by the help of dependent variables we are going to predict the value of independent variable it is being given by francis glatton in 1877 sir francis glatton in the year 1877 has given regression analysis in which he has studied about the height of a son and the father and he has said that a tall son have a tall father and a tall draft father has a draft son means the height of a son depends upon the height of his father so regression by stepping back he is predicting the future now the question arises that regression analysis is a statistical tools of study the nature and extent to the way which we are going to describe the things there are two regression equations which we are going to see the first regression equation is the first regression equation is x on y means here we are going to see that we have got the value of x minus x bar bracket equal to coefficient of correlation standard deviation of x upon standard deviation of y y minus y bar okay so whenever we are going to discuss about regression equation x on y we are going to say that the x value will be on your right hand side and the y value will be on your left hand side then another equation regression equation y on x you have to write y minus y bar is equal to standard deviation coefficient of correlation standard deviation of y upon standard deviation of x x minus x bar clear so these are the two regression equations on which we are going to analyze our data as you all know that x bar and y bar are the mean values of x and y series right so this x bar and y bar here also see these are the mean values of x and y series this this is standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y that is known as the sd standard deviation of x and y series and this stands for coefficient of of correlation
right? So whenever you have got a data and you have to predict the future on the basis of your past data, you are going to apply the regression analysis. In the previous lecture in statistics, I have told you how you are going to apply this regression tool in the statistics. But whenever we are going to use this statistical tools in research work, it is very important for a researcher to know how he is going to apply this tool in his research work. So here he has to take two variables. One is the dependent variables and the independent variables. And on the basis of dependent variables, he is going to predict the future of the independent variable. Whatever is independent, you have to keep it over here, this side. And what is being dependent, you have to keep over here. Means whatever you are going to find the value, if you are going to find a value of something, you are going to put it over here. Unknown value should be put over here. For example, if you are going to find the relationship between height and weight of a certain javans, then if the weight is being given, if you say x is the height, and y is the weight, right? So x is height and y is weight. If the height is being given, right? So you put over here and you find the weight. And if the weight is being given, you put it over here and find it over here. So whatever you have to find, you have to keep this on your right hand side. And what this is made, which you have to know is we are going to kept in the left hand side. So this is all the regression analysis. Now, what are the uses of regression analysis? It provides estimates of variables of the dependent variables from values of independent variables. By the help of regression analysis, a researcher knows about the independent variable. Why? Because the de de uh, dependent variable is there. It is being fixed. So he is going to predict the independent variable by the help of regression analysis. Second point, it is used to obtain the measure of errors involved in using the regression line as the basis of estimation. As I have told you, there are two regression lines, x on y and y on x. So by the help of regression analysis, a researcher used to obtain the measures of errors which has been involved in that specific area and by overcoming that error, he is going to get the best prediction. Then the third point is, with the help of regression analysis, we can obtain a measure of degree of association or correlation that exists between the two variables. We can measure the degree of association and we can measure the cause and effect impact. Means if there are two values, we are going to help that if the dependent value is being there, what will be the independent variable? And what is the impact of that independent variable on the dependent variable? For example, if you are taking a study on the rainfall and the production of crops. So rainfall is an independent variable, but production of crops depends upon that. So somewhere it is dependent. So by the help of the rainfall, you can predict that this much of rainfall is there in the year. So automatically this much of production will be obtained in a specific year. Now, fourth one, it is highly valuable tool in economics and business research since most of the problems of the economic analysis are based on cause and effect relationship. Means it is one of the most vital and important tool in economics and business studies because it tells about the cause and effect impact. If you are employing 500 employees for a new organization, what will be the impact of those 500 in the organization in the coming future? Because by giving employment to 500 new employees, you are going to get a most of the expenditure on salary and various other sources. So each and every employee has to give his best to get the best output. Means there is a cost and effect relationship which is being measured by the help of regression analysis. Regression analysis is only being used when you have a past data and you are going to predict the future on the basis of that past data. Now see that what is correlation? Correlation is a statistical technique to ascertain the association or relationship between two or more variables. 
in correlation also we are going to associate the relationship between two or more variables but here what we are going to do is that we are going to find the magnitude the direction and the degree in which they are joint in they are related so here the direction is also being moved by the help of correlation now correlation is a statistical technique to ascertain the association of relationship between two or more variables it is a statistical technique to study the degree and direction of relationship between two or more variables as i have told you that here the degree that how much they are related whether they are positive related or whether they are negative related this can easily be done by the help of correlation why we use correlation a correlation coefficient is a statistical measure of the degree to which changes to the value of one variable predicts change to the value of another variable means how much a value is having a impact on other value if you can find the impact of oil and the growth of hair so how much of quantity you are using the oil and what is the growth of your hair this is directly being related if it has got a positive impact you are going to use that oil frequently if you are using that oil and there is a hair loss you are going to avoid that oil so here there is a direct relationship to between one value on another variable then when the fluctuations of one variable reliably predicts a similar fluctuation in another variable there often a tendency to think that means that the change in one causes the change in the other means if there are two variables and there is a certain impact of first variable on the other variable we are going to say that yes this is happening because there is a impact of the first one on the second as i have taken the example of application of hair oil and the growth of hair if the growth of hair is suitable it is up to the mark you are saying that the hair oil is of best quality which is being used but if there is a hair loss we can say that the impact of hair oil is negative now the question says that uses of correlation the first one is deriving precisely the degree and the direction of relationship means it tells about the degree of relationship that what is the degree of relationship and what is the direction of relationship means whether it is positively correlated whether it is negatively correlated and at what degree it is highly correlated it is moderate correlated or it is correlated all you can find by the help of correlation second one reduce the range of uncertainty of our prediction by the help of correlation the uncertainty of our prediction can easily be removed it can give a precise result it can tell you that the relationship between two variables are positive or negative it can tell you that what is the magnitude between the two variables and what is the degree of association between the two variables then analysis will be more reliable and near to the reality means whatever analysis you are doing by the help of correlation it is almost near to the reality means it gives a precise result then contributes to the understanding of economic behavior aids in locating the critically important variables in which others are dependent means whatever values which are critically need to be evaluated can easily be done by the help of correlation so correlation is a very important tool in our statistics and research methodology may reveal to the economist the connection by which distribution is spread and suggest to him the path through which establishing forces may becomes effective means it is a tool which tells about the disturbance and what is the path which is being required to make it stable this is can be easily done by the help of correlation so it is an important tool 
Then the last one is shows relationship between variable like the size and quantity demanded, advertising expenditure and sales promotion measures, etc. Means it is being used in each and every field of management, whether it is production management, marketing management, HR management, or any field of management, financial management, you can use this correlation methods. The measure of coefficient of correlation is relative measure to the change. It predicts the relativity that it is based on the value of another value. Means both the variables are having an impact on one another. Then you can say there are what types of correlations are there? There are three types of correlations which we are going to find. The first one is the positive correlation. Okay, so when we say that the impact of one series has a positive impact on the other series, we are going to say that it is positively correlated. Means both are going towards the positivity. Now the second point says that when the impact of one series has a declining impact on the other series, we say it is negatively correlated. This is known as the negative correlation, means they are going towards the downfall. Then simple correlation means you have got two variables and simply you are analyzing the value of both the variables. Then partial variables means you have got two or more than two variables and you are analyzing by the help of any one variable the value of the independent variable. Then multiple variable, here you have got two, three, four, five. There is multiple chains, multiple variables, multiple series and you are taking any two or any three and you are calculating the value of correlation, the impact of any one on the other is known as the multiple correlation. Linear correlation, when the value of a correlation comes in a single line like this, it is a linear correlation, means it comes in the single line. But non-linear correlation says that when the value comes like this or you have got chart like this or you have got chart like this, you say it is non-linear means it is not in a specific line, it is in a curvy linear form. Now we say what are the methods of measurement of correlation? It is very important in the statistical analysis and in research methodology. As you all know that in research methodology and basically in social sciences, you will find a researcher from different field. He might be from mathematical background, scientific background, or he might be in commerce or management background, or he will be from arts background. So there are different methods by which we can use this correlation tool for the application of our research work, for our analysis. So the first thing is the scatter diagram. In the scatter diagram, what we used to do is this, that we used to take the chart and on the basis of that chart, we used to scatter the different values. And on these values, we used to take two lines and we say that this is correlated. This is known as a scatter diagram. Then you have got graphical method. In graphical method, we take graph X series and Y series and we form two lines or more than two lines and on the basis of that we are going to predict that what is the relation between the two series. Then the third one is the algebraic or mathematical method. So for a research, this is an important method by which you are going to calculate the value. You are going to calculate, you are going to test your hypothesis. If you have framed any hypothesis, and you have to test that hypothesis, this is the important area which you have to pay attention. The first one is Carl Pearson method. Carl Pearson method is for all those who knows how to calculate mean, for all those who knows how to calculate standard deviation, and all those who are from mathematical background. When you are going to study on the basis of quantitative data. You are going to say Carl Pearson method is applicable for that. 
you know i have told you how you are going to apply in the previous lecture you can see in the correlation you can know that how you are going to apply this method so concurrent deviation now sometimes a researcher doesn't know how to calculate mean standard deviation and the values so it is very difficult from him a person a researcher is from the arts background so for him concurrent deviation is the best method here there are two series x and y series and by the value of the past series we can say that whether it is the next series is positive or negative so here the sign is very important the positive signs and negative signs so it is being used by any layman person when he knows about the two series and the next value is bigger or lesser if it is bigger you put positive sign if it is less you find negative sign and on this sign positive sign you are going to calculate the value right and the third one is the rank correlation when you are studying qualitative data now what is qualitative data qualitative data means if you are saying that what is the behavioral study if you are saying that beauty fragrance rank anything you are going to do you are going to take it is a qualitative data so here spearman rank correlation is applicable the formula is very simple 1 minus 6 summation d square n n square minus 1 this is the formula but this method is only being used when you have got a quantified data this method is being used when you have got quantified data this method quantified data this method is also used in the quantified method right so here the difference of ranking is being here d stand for difference in rank means when you have got two rank rank 1 and rank 2 so you have to take the difference and that difference is known as the d and you have to square that value why because sometimes the value of rank 2 will be bigger than rank 1 so you are going to get the negative value so to make it positive you are going to square this so here formula is saying that you have to square it then n n is the number of terms in the series you put it over here and you will find a value now the question arises that what type of answers we can get by applying correlation in our research work as you all know that i have told you that correlation tells about the degree means it tells about highly correlated value when the value is between 0.99 to 0.75 then you have got moderate when you have got value 0.75 to 0.55 and you have got low when you have got value 0.55 to 0.05 clear so if the value is coming one you can say that it is perfect correlator that is your value will be 1 right it is a perfectly positive correlator and when it is minus 1 you say that it is perfect negative correlator right so if you are saying take an example that you are studying on the training and development of any two organization or more than two organization because you have you are using simple correlation multiple correlation and near correlation for example you are going to take four companies four companies the first one is tcs second one is infosys third one is wipro fourth one is mahindra tech so these are the four companies so now you are saying that the training given by all the companies are similar or 
the training given by all the four companies used to increase the ksao level of the employees so here you are going to apply the correlation now you are going to frame the questionnaire if your questionnaire depends upon the quantitative value you are going to apply the carl pearson method and you are going to say that first you have to take the relationship between two series series then you have to take these two then you have to take this two then you have to take this two all like this you have to make multiple combinations you have to take if you say that tcs and infosys it is plus 1 means both the companies have got a similar pattern of training and development they are perfectly correlated both are using the same methods of training both the duration of training is same the cost incurred is same and the output given by the employee is same it is perfectly correlated if you take this two company and you say you are assume that if the value is 0.89 you can say it is positively correlated highly because it comes over here highly positive correlated means it might be they are using different methods but the output is same it might be the duration of training is different but the output is almost same same way if any of the company you will find the value is in negative and it is as for example you take and the value is coming from 0.2 minus 0.2 any two companies so you can say that these two companies are using different methods or the output of the methods which they are using is different or the impact of training on the employee is negative it is not creating the best output clear so whenever you are going to use this correlation it is very important to know about the different methods if you are working on a qualitative data then to you can use correlation if you are working on the quantitative data then you also you can use correlation means correlation is a statistical tool which is applicable in every type of questionnaire clear so this is one of the most important and vital tools which is being taken into consideration for our statistical and research work so for the practical implementation you can see my past lecture which is being uploaded over there so i hope you have understood that how you are going to apply regression and correlation in your research work thank you